Voilà. The GF1. Slide. Handles adjustable for easy carrying. Good for riders and lefties. Breaks down on four parts. Undetectable by X-ray. Ideal for quick, discreet interventions. A word on firepower. Titanium recharger. 3,000 round clip with burst of 3 to 300. And with the replay button, another Zorg invention, it's even easier. Four full crates. Delivered right on time. Hello everyone, my name is Dan and welcome back to my shop. Today we're going to start building a prop that I've been waiting to build for a very, very long time. It's the infamous ZF-1 from one of my favorite sci-fi movies of all time, The Fifth Element with Bruce Willis, Gary Oldman and Mila Jovovich. Lilu Dallas Multipass. And I finally found the perfect kit to do it. It's from a designer based in the UK named Jake Eaton. Jake has been working and improving this kit for many years now. And it simply looks amazing. It has over 250 parts, many of them machined aluminum, others 3D printed in either PLA or resin, depending whether we see the parts or not. It has a ton of electronics because it has a bunch of moving components. It's really cool. If you also would like to build your own ZF-1 with this kit, I'll put the link in the description below. And if you ever mention my name, well, Jake will give you for free a cool Zorg industry wall mount. And as usual, if you enjoy the content, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. But for now, I simply can't wait to start. Let's build it. It's going to be fun. Alright, the first thing I need to do before even thinking about assembling that puppy is to understand and test the electronic. There's a circuit printed board that controls everything. The servo for the scope. The servo for the top barrel. Two smaller servos for the dart launchers. A motor to slide out the red barrel. A speaker. A battery, the red button, the yellow on and off button, and the trigger that activates all the components. And of course, a bunch of wires that connects everything together. So let's give it a quick run through just to make sure that everything works accordingly.
Throw a little hot rod red in there. Yes, that should help you keep a low profile. So before I actually start assembling the frame, I want to make sure that I do the withering because once it's assembled, I would I have to mask everything, which I don't want to do. It's simply going to be easier if I do it right away. So let's get to it. It is starting to look like something, right? So 
So some parts are 3D printed and they're meant to be shiny aluminum. So meaning I'm gonna need to send them a little bit, give them a coat of filler, then shiny black and finally the aluminum paint. So that should do the trick. Alright, I do believe this red button is a really nice place to hand the first part of our build. This kit is truly amazing. i never seen anything like this. The level of work, thinking, engineering and dedication that was put into this is simply off the roof. I, I usually have a lot of fun building my stuff, but this is, this is truly something else. Um, in the next part, we will probably start by calibrating all the moving components just to make sure they sit where they're supposed to and hopefully wrap up everything so it end up looking something like this. So again, if you don't want to miss anything, don't forget to subscribe. But for now, thank you for watching and we'll see you soon.